Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Allentown is being brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. We've got Sun and Jackson after a torrential downpour suspended Thursday's playoff game between Allentown and Jackson Liberty. So let's break down the restart. Liberty with a 3-1 lead in the bottom of the second. Runners on first and second, two outs. So right out of the restart, Shane Hickey up to bat. And Willie grounds out on the first pitch. Into the third inning we go. Not much for offense in the middle innings. Allentown starter Jack Nitty gets the swinging third strike there. And then on the other end, Jackson Liberty's Shane Hickey on the bump, and he does the same. Liberty still holding on to a 3-1 lead. We head into the fifth. In the fifth, A-Town gets on the board. Ryan Miller draws the bases loaded walk. Cole Leach trots in to make it a 3-2 game. And it's the Redbirds making some noise in the sixth inning. The bases are juiced up. We've got only one out. Now on the mound for the Lions is Dan Keenan in a pressure spot. And Dan Keenan comes through big. Make it back-to-back -back strikeouts. Liberty gets out of the sixth inning unscathed. Jackson Liberty with some insurance in the next half inning. Hard to handle Connor Keenan's grounder. We've got an errant throw at first. Kevin Ritz hustles from second to score. The Lions with a 4-2 lead going into the seventh. But A-Town not ready to head home. The defending Central Group 3 champs punch back. Brett Pyle drops one into center field. Scoring from second is Ryan Miller. The third base coach waving in Danny McCormick. He's safe at home. A-Town makes it a game. Pyle's two-run double ties us up at four. We head into the bottom of the seventh. However, danger awaits. Slugger David Melfi with nine homers on the year. He hit one in Thursday's first inning. And it's Melfi getting the first crack. On a 3-2 pitch, Melfi sends a moonshot. He's got some serious power. And the gusty wind to right field only helped. David Melfi sends A-Town packing with a deep walk-off homer. Jackson Liberty moves on to the Central Group 3 semifinals with an emphatic 5-4 win. What a year it's been for David Melfi. The Wagner catcher commit has been integral to Liberty's success all season long. It means the world to me. It means the world to these guys. This is where, right where we want to be. You know, uh, we uh, lost in the OCT, lost in the SCT. The States is all we have left, and we're coming for it. Last two years, we lost in the semis and states, and we're hungry this year, and we want it this year. You try not to think about hitting the long ball, but uh, it's always in the back of your mind, and I know that I have enough power to do that, and uh, I just want to get something good to hit and uh, hit the ball hard. That's always my goal, hit the ball hard. Jackson Liberty is home against 11 seed Northern Burlington in the Central Group 3 semifinals on May 28th. Reporting from Jackson, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.